Good morning. It's Monday. Start of a new vlog. And where am I starting this week? In Nordstrom, of course. One more day of research before the big event starts. And I don't know if you can see, probably not. Maybe I'll show you later. They're already starting to set up for the big anniversary sale, which in your world has already begun. But, um, so exciting. Um, yep, so I'm here to do a little more research, going upstairs to find someone with an iPad so I can peruse the lookbook here in store. Oh, here it is. Here is the curtained off area for the car holders only. I'll show you that sign. Hang on. So that's what it looks like. So they'll rope off certain areas. Well, actually it looks like the entire second floor is roped off. And then if you come in store to shop during early access, um, if you try to purchase something, they'll ask to see your Nordstrom card. And if you don't have it, then they take it all away from you and you have to wait till July 20th. So. I'm gonna wander around and look for an iPad and I'll check in with you later. So I was just hanging in my little corner and I ran yes. into Sherry <laughs> and she's also from Chicago. Chicago, yes. So do we sound alike? Maybe, maybe, a, little maybe a little. And her husband's from both Air Force. So, so there you there go. go. Oh, and hi. <laughs> exactly. And we're prepping for the sale. Yay. Now we're gonna go make a run for it in the rain. Yes, we are, definitely. You're wearing yeah. white. I know, it's okay. All right. It's all right. Wish us luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner for Gosh, first night in, I can't even tell you how long. Um, pretty simple, just pan frying some thin chicken breast in my grill pan, which I think has seen better days and is probably gonna need to be replaced. And I'm trying something new for us. It's, um, I'm also pan frying polenta. Hello, Fran. Anybody try this? And then I just have some Paul Newman's marinara sauce that I'm gonna drizzle over everything. And I'm throwing together a bag salad. And that is dinner, but it's like the most I've done in been a while, but everybody's actually home tonight. Well, three out of four of us, and the weather's cooled down, as evidenced by the fact that I'm wearing a jacket. And then I had a good night's sleep for the first time in a long time. Admittedly, I took some Benadryl. But still, it's amazing what one solid night of sleep will do to totally raise your spirits. So I'm feeling awake and alive and happy and excited to make dinner. So that's what's going on here. Oh, and I think that's Go daddy, I'm working on some web issues, excuse me. Just got back from a long day of meetings and I wanted to give you an update on my Google website dilemma. Google actually, there is a phone number you can call when you have like a business Google account. They actually called me back just now. It's like, you know, the next day just to help walk me through it and fix the problem. No, you just went out. You literally waited until I turn on the camera. No, you goofball. Oh my gosh, she's like a two year old. Anyway, so I just wanted to update you. Thumbs up Google, you rock. Thank you. I can now, when you get onto my Google website, not my Google website, onto my website, it will now say HTTPS instead of HTTP, so I have a secured site. Well, it will be that way by the time you're seeing this anyway. So excited. Entering the 21st century, Robbie. Yes, we are. Who's spoiled? I mean, he could totally get in there on his own. Michael's the keeper of the community sign, by the way. That's why we have no, the community garage sale sign. I'll bring it back. All right, let's go to the dog park. So we're heading out to the dog park. It's almost 6.30, so it's supposed to start cooling down about now. Um, and I am just, we are filming on my, we, I am filming on my iPhone. So if it sounds a little funky, that is why, because I'm not bringing my camera with me. Just pared down. I didn't even bring my purse, babe, or like ID or anything. So let's not get in a wreck. Okay, good. I love a baby Roddy. Where'd Rowdy go? Rowdy, no, no, you just peed on the Oh no, did he pee on a dog uh, yeah. again? Yeah. Rowdy, did we find a dog that's bigger than you? Oh, you're pretty. Hi. Wow. Yeah, I think that's what wrong end. I think that's a massive. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay then! That was too funny. Oh, yep. Rowdy, we gotta wash our feet. I'm gonna take him out somewhere tomorrow afternoon like that. Come on. He's washing his feet. I might take him to the river tomorrow. Yeah. 
Seriously? He might love that. He would. He would. I think he just wants to wash his feet. I don't think he's gonna drink. Let's get him home. Come on, Bubba. So it is Wednesday, and it is T minus less than. It's like 13 hours until the sale goes live. Actually. And I know that y'all are probably already so sick of it, but I was thinking that maybe some of you were curious about what it is that all of us bloggers and YouTubers are doing to get ready. Well, I can't speak as to what everyone else is doing, but um, a lot of it is we can't link or list anything because a lot of it we don't even know. We're as in the dark as most of you are because Nordstrom doesn't really release any information ahead of the sale. Now, like I said, I've been going in store, like anyone who can go into a Nordstrom and look through the lookbook. So I've been taking notes. So what I've been doing and I'm continuing to do is um, I'm on my website and I'm, I am, and you will have all seen this already. If not, of course I'll link it below as always, but I'm pre sort of populating different web pages to get ready for the sale. Let me show you. I have <clears throat> different categories already done, tops and blouses. This is not in order, but all the different kind of subcategories. And if you go in, let's talk about this one. So um, that's tops and blouses. And I have some of what I recommend already. Either I've seen it in the catalog or um, like I said, I found it in the lookbook in store, but I can't link anything because the links aren't live yet. Um, and I can't find them. Like I wrote it out from seeing it in a PDF, but I can't, you can't access it. I can't look it up. So it wouldn't help any of us because you can't like copy that and even paste that into a search engine. It won't take you anywhere. So I can't publish it till it's live. So it's just sitting there waiting. So I have my lists and like pages and pages of notes and I'm just prepping. And so in about 12 and a half hours, I will wake up and, um, I will start entering in all these names on the Nordstrom website and getting the link so I can hyperlink everything and then publish, go, 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 go. So it's, I can get it up live so you can start clicking on things and getting those recommendations as fast as I can get them up. So that is all, that is the big thing. That is what consumes all of our lives for a few hours. And um, that's about all that I've been up to. So I did shower and I did put on makeup, but I didn't do my hair yet or eat so I'm gonna do that because it's one o'clock and I'm starving and um, I just thought I'd pop in and I think that's about all I'm gonna see of you today because like I said I got to keep up with this and I will pop in um, in the wee hours of Thursday morning after everything has gone live here we go good morning they also have a countdown clock going time eight seven here we go people <laughs> They are not kidding around. Let's go shopping, it's here! Oh my God, this is like the most unflattering. It is, <laughs> whatever, it is 3.31. All the, oh God, how many did I do? One moment. All 11 blog posts with each section are live. They've all been linked to the video. The video went live. It's been published to Instagram, I did it on Facebook and Twitter. Oh my gosh. I have one big post still left to do and then I need to shop for myself. This is this is called sitting in front of the computer and picking at my chin. My skin was looking so good and then I did this. All right, 3.32, I'm gonna go get something to drink. Non-alcoholic, I have like, can you hear that? I have like no moisture in my mouth. I'm gonna finish two more blog posts and then I'm gonna do my own shopping. Then I'm gonna go back to sleep for a couple hours, I hope. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna place an order for pickup, hopefully, some of that stuff I can get here at my local Nordstrom, and then next day air for everything else so I can film a haul as fast as possible. See when this is gone, hopefully. Okay, it's been a full day and it's not even noon. <laughs> I put on some makeup, a lot of concealer. And I am at Nordstrom. I just got the texts that my two orders I've already placed are ready for pickup. Let's see, here I am. And uh, now I'm gonna pick those up. I'm gonna actually try them on in store. So if anything doesn't fit, I can just swap it out. And then there's some stuff that wasn't available in store that's getting shipped next day. And then of course I have every intention of 
picking up a few more things while I'm here. <laughs> I love coming to Nordstrom for so many reasons, but one of them is because every time I come, I run into someone I know, or at least who knows me. Mm -hmm. So now I know you. This is Ursula. Say hi. Hi, everybody. And she just came to shop, and yes, you just happened to watch my videos, too. I came up the escalator, just got here, and oh my gosh, this beautiful woman here. Yes. I was almost in tears. She was, but she yes. almost made me cry, so I appreciate that. And look what you're buying, show everybody. Have you brought this? It's my fault. I have a few of these barefoot dreams, but this is the circle cardigan that I'm getting because of this wonderful lady right here. I'm and finally how do gonna have hold one. up? Because I tell people that they hold up, and apparently no one believes me. So you I have about five to seven um, already, and they are phenomenal. They're wonderful, terrific. And do you do anything special to wash or dry them? No, wash, dry, no softener. Most beautiful smelling soap um, gain or yeah, any no, no softener, just soap. And you throw and them in the dryer. Yes. Yep. See, I'm not lying. All right. So terrific. But I'm so glad I met you. So yes. Glad you're here. You made my day. You made my year. You made my day too. Thank you. Yes. It has been a long day. We are not done yet. I took a little nap. I closed my eyes for about half an hour, and now my contacts are literally stuck like saran wrap to my poor little eyeballs. Michael is the president of our homeowners association, and I've really not been able to go to any of our meetings because I've either had my own meetings, I've been out of town, I don't know how, but I am able to go. At least I'm sort of awake, so I'm heading out for that, but here's my little haul. Sneak peek. Well, it won't be a sneak peek. When you guys watch, the video will already gone up, but there's everything. I just took a little Instagram picture of it. That's about half the order, maybe a little more than half, and then the rest will be sent hopefully to my house tomorrow. And then, what I'm really looking forward to, maybe more than the anniversary sale, let me get my shoes, is tonight is the finale of Southern Charm. Okay, yes, I need to get a life. I'm fully aware that my life is really shallow and empty, if that's the highlight, but Say lovey. Okay. Wearing shoes, FYI, from, well, that didn't really help you, did it? Here we go. From last year's sale. Still getting plenty of use. They came out with a new model for this year, but I'm not buying them because I have last year's. So, there you go. All right. Off to the meeting. We're doing senior portraits for the yearbook. This is about as much as Shane has consented to be seen in the vlog, so doesn't he have cute legs? I'm just taking advantage of this amazing light just to capture this moment, although I'm a little shiny. But I wish I had this kind of lighting everywhere following me around. It's a giant umbrella light. This is like some staged background. Leaving Target with about nine days worth of K-Cups. And then we're running just right next door to Whole Foods because I got a little email alert that they have new Whole Foods brand dairy-free ice cream in mint chocolate chip, which is Shane's favorite flavor. And they also now have dairy-free, gluten-free, well, for sure gluten-free, um, Thin Mints. Uh, Girl Scout approved Thin Mints, which is another one of Shane's favorites. We're gonna go check, whoops, sorry about that. Check that out as well. But we're gonna drive because it's 90. Eight degrees out and it's like 200 yards. And walking across asphalt in 98 degrees is more like walking across asphalt in 150 degrees. Your shoes start to get sticky on the bottom because they're starting to melt. Dairy Free Friends, Whole Foods brand makes their own dairy free ice cream and if you are a mint chocolate chip fan, and if you are Michael Goldberg, who doesn't need to eat this, but anyway, he's happy. They have this. So, since I don't have to be dairy free, I can just eat cheap, regular ice cream. I didn't get any for me though. Hmm. Oh well. We are out celebrating a lucky day, Friday the 13th, and uh, we're at one of our favorite local spots, Kamori, for Japanese food. And you have to see Michael's because it's just so pretty. It's a salmon tower, which is this. And what about my. That is pretty. And then you got gyoza. Yaki manga. No, wrong. Or jean manga? That's Korean. And then I just got the boring chicken tabanaki that I love. Thank you. With eel sauce. And a side of chicken.
chicken fried rice that I was planning on sharing. And we're going off the deep end, guys. And we got sake. We shall see if fermented rice makes my nose run like fermented grapes. Okay, on our way home, and just a quick update. Half a glass of sake, my nose is running. So, that's a big old no to that. I'm gonna stick with the hard alcohol. Seems to make my nose run less. Actually, no alcohol would probably be the best. Well, idea. whatever. But tequila seems to not be an issue, so. How about just order some Topo Chico and look like you're drinking and you're not really. The occasional glass of an adult beverage is not the worst thing in the world. Like, if I have two alcoholic beverages a month, that's like a very exciting month. Like, seriously, when they go, when you go to the doctor's office and it says, like, check how often you drink, you know, daily, we, there's no option for like once a month. So, but that's like basically my alcoholic intake. Anyway, we're gonna go home and uh, watch a little Southern Charm Savannah because we have run out of Southern Charm Charleston to watch. And that is the conclusion to our Friday night. See you fabulous. tomorrow. <laughs> I just finished filming my, I, I wanna say epic Nordstrom haul, but that's what I called it last year. And last, that that's a misnomer because this year is way more epic. Evidenced by the 44 minutes of raw footage, and I don't even think that's like extraneous. Like, I think most of that is just usable footage, so we're in trouble. That cannot be one video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, by the time you see this vlog, I'll have figured it out, so I can't wait to see. But this is what my kitchen looks like. That's getting returned. That's the only thing. That's a bra that I bought. That's another bra that I bought. That's This is the aftermath of the epic Rowdy, do not even think about eating my new clothes. One of those pieces was bought specifically because you did eat one of my clothes. Stop it. Yep, so actually this isn't bad. It doesn't look too horrible. I actually filmed two videos today. So that basket underneath is full of the makeup that I was talking about in my Where Are They Now from July 2016. And um, so things could look worse. Right, Rao? See, now you're chill like a little sphinx. One piece actually never made it home. I returned it before I even left the store. So now I gotta clean up and uh, we'll see where the day goes. I'm wearing one of the things from the sale. It's the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I don't know which one it is. Hang on, I'll tell you actually. I think it's called Blushing Dream. Can't read this. Also, not keeping the sweatshirt on or the jeans or the slippers, although all are very comfortable. It's like 100 degrees outside. So we're gonna do an outfit change, excuse me. Lazy Sunday here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, this was a bun and now it's like, some of it's a ponytail. I don't know what happened. Serious inner highlight going on. Rowdy, you wanna go to antagonize them? Shane is here, well he's not here, he's outside. With his girlfriend, they're swimming on my giant ice cream cone. Sunday float, I'll see if I can find that to show you. Um, I am cooking up a late lunch for them. I'm just happy that they want to hang out here and let me feed them. So I'm just whipping up some pasta, gluten-free of course, with a little marinara sauce. This is the one we've been using for years. It's the Paul Newman's marinara and they switched to plastic bottles, which makes me happy, one, because I can recycle it, and two, because I'm cloud C and if I drop it, it's not gonna shatter. I have some grilled chicken breasts that I've cut up that I'll throw in with the pasta. I have raw broccoli florets and some dairy-free like ranch and like dairy-free tzatziki sauce. The kids said they wanted to dip broccoli and carrots in. This is a meal you could feed a two-year-old or two 17-year-olds. Not really all that different. Um, so yeah, we're just chilling. Very relaxed Sunday. Um, let's see if I can show you the pool floaty. It's really cute. I think sadly it is too far out of focus for you to see, but it's, woo, finger, right down there. Hey Shane! Are you in the, oh, they're both underwater. There we go. Hi! There is our giant floaty. It came in a PR package. I'm at my friend Shannon's house, you know, the one who has the piece of furniture that came with the house so you can't have it. And um, yeah, when I was here for the football party, everyone's like, that furniture, where'd you get it? I'm like, oh, 
it's built in. Um, anyway, she has a new puppy, and there's a big version of the puppy. Where'd he go? Rudy, hi, this is Rudy. And he's pacing because there's a lizard outside that he's tracking. And apparently this is a daily activity. He and the lizard have a relationship going. And, but the new one is Rocky. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's a little angel. Okay, I love you too, Rudy. We love you too. This is the new one. This is the baby. Don't Puppy. wake him up. Let him sleep. You're terrible. Did you do this with your real children? No way. I was a sleep Nazi. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Oh, he just, man. He is out. Rudy, you're a good had, boy. We, we, we love you. We were running around in the backyard a bunch. He just loves to chase us. And he slept through the night. Yeah, he did so the second night. Oh, my gosh. You were no, so wait, lucky. Was last night our first night? Friday was your first night. Friday was my first night. What, don't, what day is it? Is it Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's summer. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that, that furniture is built in, right? What? That piece? Yes. So yeah, I'm sorry, I can't tell you where she bought it. It doesn't exist outside well, of this house. Yep, you right now, because... No, it's not. And she's got the playpen for the baby, so it's a baby. It's totally... Oh my God, I'm dying. Proof. So just, if, I don't know what the thumbnail for this week's video is gonna be, but it's probably a gratuitous dog picture. I'm just warning you now. We are going to celebrate my eight year YouTube anniversary and National Ice Cream Day with some ice cream. Michael has the Natamu chocolate peanut butter because he ate his entire pint from Whole Foods already. Shane is getting his Whole Foods 365 mint chocolate chip. And since I am not dairy free, I just got plain old Haagen-Dazs coffee ice cream, not vanilla. And Shane and I will be enjoying ours in the Joy brand gluten-free ice cream cup cones. So that's it for the vlog. Hope y'all had a wonderful week and next week please make sure you're subscribed because Michael and I are going to Charleston for a few days so that should be interesting and we may try to retrace some of these southern charm sites so follow along with us make sure you're subscribed thank you so much for hanging out with me this week and I'll see you in the next one bye